Vegas with your neon flashing and your one arm band is crashing. Almost hopes down the drain. Fever, Las Vegas turning day into night time, turning night into daytime. If you see it once, you'll never be the same again. I'm gonna keep on the run, I'm gonna have me some fun. It cost me my very last dime. If I wind up broke, oh well, I'll always remember that I had a swing in time. Uh, I'm gonna give it everything I've got. Lady love, please let the dice stay hot. Let me shoot the seven with every shot. Viva! But you got to have friends The feelings are so strong You got to have friends To make that day last long I had some friends but they're gone Someone came and took them away And from the dust till the dawn Here is where I'll stay Standing at the end of Walt Disney Eyes 
waves of humanity stretched out before us like the Dead Sea. Many of them in complete and utter shock because they have never really, truly, honestly experienced the divide. They want to know how much more they have to endure before I sing one of those inspirational ballads they love me for. You are the wind beneath my here in the front row. Oh my God. The American Express gold car ticket holders. <laughs> Yuppie swine. Hit all that money so they could watch the show like this. Wow, she's tall. <laughs> well, I appreciate your efforts to get close enough to see. I look good. Yes, baby. And you want to know something? You all look pretty good yourselves. I had no idea what you all would be wearing. I don't get out much. I don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah. I'm a star. Yes, oh. I spend all my free time lounging in the largest trailer on the lot, watching CNN. I know what everyone in Rwanda is wearing. Oh, I tell you, I gotta confess to you, the last couple years have made me so cynical, so sad. The Cold War ended, yeah, yeah. the Civil War began, uh -huh. the Berlin Wall fell down. I said, what the fuck is back up? Yeah, I got an attitude, I got an ego, that don't matter when you go where we go. Give me an attitude, not a platitude, and my gratitude you receive. so thrilling, you know. That first weekend when our picture opened, the big testosterone kings, they all had pictures coming out too, you know. Bruce Willis, Steven Seagal, Michael Douglas. They were ham on toast by Sunday night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody wanted to watch Michael Douglas bag old lines. They wanted to watch three lion old bags. <laughs> I tell you, that picture was a real stretch for me. I've never been a first wife before. I was the other woman once or twice, but never a first wife. First of all, of course, I had to get frumpy. That was a real chore. Cause I look. <laughs> then of course I had to tap into those deep inner pools of vindictiveness and spite. That came a whole lot easier.
You don't know me. I'm not just my girl anytime. You don't know me. Don't say I can't go with other boys. And don't tell me what to do. And don't tell me what to say. And when, when I go out with you, don't put me on display. Pretty good. I'm impressed. singing that song at my stage of life. The song is like a comet. Comes back every 30 years whether you want it to or not. But everything comes back. That's why I never throw anything away. Everything comes back. You see, it's the 70s. They're trying to revive the 70s. Oh, the 70s. Mm, a fabulous decade in retrospect. Whether you're a mother or whether you're a lover, you're staying alive, staying alive. So I'd like to know where you get the notion Said I'd like to know where you got the notion To rock the boat, rock the boat Terrible memories of the 70s. Running makeup, running stockings, running nose. Oh my God, the 70s. My principal memory of the 70s was the night I accidentally overturned a, a tray of cocaine and 35 people got down on their hands and knees and tried to snort up a shag rug. It was pathetic. Sad day in the evolutionary spiral of humanity, I'll tell you that. Oh my God. I can't believe I felt I had to share that with you. But then I can't believe bell bottoms are back. I tell you, I am so depressed. I feel I ought to call Dr. Kervorkian. Actually, he called me. <laughs> he called me. He said he thought I looked depressed. I told him I thought I looked. Dr. Kevorkian doesn't like the, the names he's being called in the press. He does not like them. He wants to be called a death facilitator. You have to be very careful what you call people nowadays. Everyone's so fucking sensitive. <laughs> there are no more junkies. There are no more junkies. There are only the chemically dependent. There are no more bald people. There are only the follically deprived. There are no more bedwetters. There are only the nocturnally compromised. If someone cuts the cheese in the elevator, you can no longer say, P.U. Now you must say, someone has been hygienically dysfunctional. <laughs> the plane will not crash. It will simply fail to maintain altitude. <laughs> Your lawyer is not lying. He is merely adjusting his agenda. <laughs> oh, God, all these convoluted concepts. They're, they're like vines wrapping themselves around my neck, strangling me, bringing me down, killing the last functioning brain cell I own. Oh, my God, even medicinal marijuana won't help this. Oh, well, as long as I'm down here.
But enough exercise. The endorphins get in the way of my contemplation of the serious front page issues of the day. Why, why, why did Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee break up? Did they break up? Didn't they break up? This has given me terrible, terrible nightmares. I mean, I still haven't gotten over Sonny and Cher. Who's next, Siegfried and Roy? I worry, I worry about Boris Yeltsin. He has a sharp pain in his left shoulder that works, works its way all the way down to his drink. I worry about the Pope. He's so frail. I think, I think he's probably too pooped to Pope. You know he had a hip replacement. Now he has something in common with every little old lady on Miami Beach. Well, that and the hats and the dresses. I worry, I worry that I'm two Dalmatians short of a litter. I worry about my Cabbage Patch doll. She spit up a hairball. I worry, I worry, I worry about mad cow disease. They've asked me to be their poster girl. But I think I'm spreading myself too thin. I'm already the queen of composting. How much shit can one person handle? Oh, I worry. I really, really worry. I worry. I worry about alternative medicine. You know, I heard that all those ginseng remedies from China, they don't have any ginseng in them. That's why the only ginseng I drink is Tanqueray. I worry. I worry about what computers are doing to us as a nation. I fear they are putting a serious, serious crimp in our sexual habits. I imagine an entire nation of people typing with one hand. And not only is it obscene, it's hard to read. I mean, fick me, fick me. Show me your tots. And you know what? Everyone is lying. Everyone. They're all hiding behind their secret computer identity. And this kind of deception is extremely expensive to keep up. I have a girlfriend. She had to take a second mortgage out on her house to pay for all the computer conversations she was having with the guy next door. She thought his name was Hans and he lived in the woods outside Reykjavik. It turned out he was Seymour. He lived behind the 7-Eleven. She could have just leaned out the window and talked dirty to him. I worry about my husband. I worry about my husband. He has designer mania. He's got a designer's name on him. He's gotta have it. He looks like Calvin. He smells like Ralph. I don't know what to call him anymore. He couldn't believe OJ only had one pair of Bruno Mali shoes. Well, that's true. But you know, Every now and again, you meet someone who's so dear, so kind, so sweet, that all the other bad stuff just kinda, kinda fades away, you know what I mean? Like, not so long ago, we met Reba McIntyre. Oh, she was darling to us. She came to see me. She told me I looked. I said, well, thank you, Reba. You know what that means, don't you? Even cowgirls get the Jews. Reva, that's what we call her in Jewish. Reva. We followed her show around. I mean, our show followed her show around one time for a whole season. She has 35 trucks and a Learjet. I have two queens and a hot comb. What is wrong with this picture? She's unable to lunch today Madam, Miss Otis regrets She's unable to lunch today mm. And she's sorry to be delayed But last evening down in Lover's Lane She strayed Madam, Miss Otis regrets She's unable to lunch today When she 
woke up and found that her dream of love was gone. Madam, she ran to the man who had led her so far astray. And from under her velvet gown, she drew a gun and shot her lover down. Madam, Miss Otis regrets she's unable to lunch today.
My God, it must be Thanksgiving. They're stuffing the turkey. Good evening, George's Alibi. Say, Pete, make some noise. Why, thank you. Oh, my God, I've got enough to get across Alligator Alley now. I'm so happy. So pleased. So happy and pleased to be here, ladies and gentlemen. First things first, I need a chair. I got to get this chair right here. Wait a minute. I asked for a prop person. They went, what? This is beauty on a budget, queen. Get over it. So I decided to sit down for a second. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we? How are we doing? Good? Are you all liquored up on martinis yet? Yeah? Me too, honey. Well, this is my first time at Georgie's Alibi. In St. Pete, that is. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling very welcome already. I'm having a fabulous time. Sober. I'm having a really good time without a cocktail up here. Having a fabulous time. It's okay, though. It's okay. Is it hot in here to you guys? I am about to faint. I'm, wait, first of all, I've got to take this thing off. What's the matter? You never seen Mr. Clean and Drag before? What's going on? Well, I, I, I want an absolute sea breeze, actually. Anyway, it is my first time here, and I understand that we're going to do a little raffle after a while or door prizes or something, give away some kind of free shit. I have no idea what. But I've been doing this, I've been doing this thing we call female impersonation for about 22 years now. That's longer than most of you have been alive, honey. And the crowd sucked then. 